A Wagner man who's been in prison for 42 years on a second degree murder charge now has a chance to possibly get released in the future. According to court documents, in October of 1981, Roscoe Primo was at a house party in Wagner. And while there, a series of fights broke out and Primo stabbed three people. One of the victims, Rodney Provost, died. Today, Primo was asking for a chance for his sentence to be commuted. But as Catalan's Lauren Solik explains, this isn't the first time in front of the South Dakota Pardons, uh, Board of Pardons and Parole. Roscoe Primo has been behind bars since he was 19 years old. In 1981, he was sentenced to life in prison without parole for the murder of Rodney Provost. Today, Primo went in front of the South Dakota Board of Pardons and Paroles. Not really deserving, but uh, asking for a second chance. Um, I've uh, educated myself. I went to school. I worked uh, every job I could have. Um, I stayed out of trouble, stayed away from violence, and I have no major write-ups for the past 41 years. I no one from his victim's family came to the hearing, but Promo says he has met with Provost's brothers in the past. We pretty much just uh, come to the understanding that, you know, um, alcohol is bad for Indians in general, but we never intend for bad things to happen when we get drunk, but it does, you know. So they said, we know our brother, so we're going to um, let you know here that uh, we don't hold it against you because... Two members of Promo's family offered their support for him at the hearing. I want to be there to get him off the bus and bring him home. That, that's just really my wish for my brother. Promo has been up for commutation before, but in 2012, Governor Dennis Dugard denied his commutation. And now at 62 years old, he's once again getting that chance. He spent 20, for 40 years in here, and it happened when he was a young person. I think it's something that the governor uh, could very easily take a look at now and, and perhaps uh, extend that grace to him. But I, I, I want to be part of that process, so I would recommend that we vote yes on this motion. Tears fell as the parole board voted 8 to 1 to send a recommendation of commutation to Governor Christy Nome's desk. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Zolik, Kelloland News. The parole board recommend Primo's sentence be commutated by 300 years, which means if Nome approves of it, he would be up for parole right away. If that is the case, he would have to once again go in front of the parole board for them to decide if he actually gets to be released from prison.